this cop interaction went from zero to 100. It's... Pull the right side, please. All right. Do we have lights on, I think? Maybe? I can't tell if he's turned his sirens on. Car is pulling over. Oh, he does have his lights on. Um, now, obviously, this guy might be a felon. I'm not going to show this because I'm not going to... I don't know what's going to happen. If you ever get pulled over by cops, always turn on the, the lights inside your car. Especially if you have tinted windows, just so they can see inside. Like, Otherwise, it's some spooky shit, but let's see what happens. Oh, it does not auto-reinforce. Oh, okay. Cop Howdy. is approaching. You mind putting back the back down the back window, please, for me? All right, awesome. I'm Deputy Blazer with Simmel County Sheriff's Office. Before also, both hands on the steering wheel. Hold on. Should always have both hands on your steering wheel, too. That This shit is, like, creepy as fuck. Oh, man. But, okay, let's see. What do we got? Before I asked you any, for any um, Guys smoking. the reason I'm pulling you over is because your windows appear way too dark oh, per statute. Okay. Okay. So if I could do, if you could do me a favor, just roll this window about halfway up. That would be, that's good. Right there. So in the state of Florida, the front window can be 25%, back window can be 15%, okay? The lower the number, the darker the tent. Your your front window is measuring at 3%, okay? So I thought it went by the back window, I thought. No, uh, no, so, so as you can see, yeah. three. What that means is only 3% of the outside ambient light is getting through your window. Okay, that's why that's why they do that that way. Um, do you have your driver's license registration proof of insurance? Guy measuring window tint, nothing happening. You can put this back down for me. How's it going this morning? What's that? How's it going this morning, bro? Living the dream. I've seen it. <laughs> Living the dream. I've like seen you on the trail. Look like what the hell happened. Have your fleet auto float. You need to hit replenish button right above the plate. Yeah, I gotcha. Okay. 1038, please. What is 1038? Is that just like a request for backup for a routine stop? What does 1038 mean? Oh man, dude. Oh, well. Rocky, Money, yes, Rudolph. Every agency's 10 code is different. Okay. Junior. Yes, sir. That name is awesome. <laughs> that is probably in 14 years, that is probably the best name I've seen. <laughs> Oh, black dude is super nervous. You can see like his um his hands are shaking a ton. Ten thirty eight stopping suspicious vehicle. This this is the application for a certificate of title. Well you guys can't see but I can. Oh uh, yeah. This this is the registration right here. Okay. It's saying it's uh, not registered to him. Oh no. I guess your your birthday's probably on the fifth. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. yeah. So so oh. ultimately it it's technically expired. Yeah. But we don't cite for that. There's case law that says it goes to the end of the month. Yeah. So you need to get that changed. Yeah, I will. Right? Time. I'm doing this new project down here. Um, the homeless community thing they're doing. Okay. I'm building that there. Working down there, building on that and stuff. Okay. So I'll be through the area all the time. All right. Well, yeah, make sure you get that updated. And do you have uh, the uh -huh. insurance card? What I did is I'm over the phone and they, they pulled the fax everything over. Mm -hmm. And they sent it to my baby mama address and I ain't been dealing with her. I got to probably go back and get it. Do you, have a, do you have an app or anything? You should be able to get it on, on an app if you've got the you sign into the app. Oh, yeah. I just gotta check and make sure make sure it's good. Yeah, it's good. I just paid this stuff a little. Why are you nervous? Oh she's caught. Huh? <laughs> no, you no reason. I think I've had nerves. I ain't got no reason to be nervous. 
What's that? Just wake up, man. Nervous. Okay. There's no need to be nervous, man. Yeah, yeah man. Cop one. If you're if you're a smart cop, and I'm, maybe this guy, I don't know. It's hard, but like I get nervous during traffic stops. I'm pretty sure everybody gets nervous. You always get nervous during a traffic stop. Like that's just always something, right? But I think most cops should realize that everybody like gets nervous during a traffic stop. Like, oh, I did, I did. I thought Ten. I thought it was the light or something. Looking like no, you ran the no. light. Ten. Yeah. It's pet peeve of mine. I was just, oh, okay. I was just trying to see where you were going because it's it's seriously unsafe to be pulling cars over over there, man. So I don't. Oh, never do it. that's what I was wondering. Like, I try and get, I try and follow somebody until <laughs> they get in a safe area. Oh, okay. For okay. me, okay. okay. You know, yeah. and then I and then I attempt to stop. Jesus, how long is this shit going for? Is there gonna be like any crazy screaming in this or whatever, or? Yeah, okay, I'm gonna mute for a second. I'm skipping like two minutes ahead, we'll see what happens. Do you have any uh, marijuana in the car? Okay. So there's no marijuana in the car at all? Okay, and do you have a Florida health card that allows you to smoke medical marijuana? No, sir. No? Okay. What's that? You left the Walmart up on Okay. Yeah, I did too. I, boy, I had to go to the bathroom something fierce. Oh, that was you. I came back then. I just rolled through there. You, you see me <laughs> go in there, go to the bathroom, come back oh, out. Okay, I just rolled through and dropped the chick off at work in there. Yeah, okay. okay. I seen all the car right. back then, but I don't you know what that matter. Um, First thing in the morning. All right. Can you, can you do me a favor and just shut the car off for me? What, what happened, sir? Huh? Well, I smell I smell marijuana, and you don't have a you don't have a card, so I'm not. I, listen, listen, mouse, listen. I'm not I'm not concerned with some personal use stuff, man. It doesn't even warrant my time. Marijuana, Would you mind shutting the car off, please? Huh? Just, I, I understand. Just shut the car off for me, please. Okay. All right. Two five thirteen. Some up. Step him up, please. It's it's no big deal. I mean, I'm bro, not. You like tell I said, me from old hey, hey, hey. To a listen, bro. listen, on, listen. Do me a favor. Do me a favor. Do me a favor. I'm telling you right now. I'm telling you right now. Stop. 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 Put it in park. Put it in park. Put your hands up. Put your hands up. Put your freaking hands up. Let me know he's just trying to sir. take off with me. Step him up sir, now. Do nothing, please. Sir, I'm please. telling you. Why you doing put like your hands me? up. I put your nothing, hands up. Put your hands up. Oh, I swear to God. Push your hands up. You put it in park. Sir. Sir. Jesus, is the cop okay? Did he? What happened? I, I'm not actually sure. I think the cop probably felt like some shit was going on because the guy was like, the guy was making like he wanted to drive off and he started to drive off while the cop like had the, he was trying to drive off while the cop was like holding into the window. Holy shit. Whew, damn. These Reddit comments, are you actually fucking serious? I'm surprised. Uh, fuck, I have to be really careful. Hold on. I mean, I can't comment on these. Fuck, I shouldn't say anything at all. Provoking a life or death situation over a whiff of weed. This is why people say a cab. I'm sorry, but the guy in the car literally tried to grab the gun from the cop. Are you serious? Like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Just as a piece of life advice, guys, don't ever try to grab a fucking gun from a police officer. What the fuck? The guy literally reached out of the car and tried to, dra and tr and tried to grab the dude's handgun. Dude, these comments are wild. I can't, I don't think I can do this. So this guy says, do you think the suspect reaching for the cop's gun made it a life-threatening situation? And this guy responds, the cop drew the gun at point blank range. Why do people, I love how people throw in like a whole bunch of like, he drew the gun at point blank range. What? He's like a fucking handgun. What, what, is he, what range is he going to draw it at? Does he wait until the guy drives off like 150 yards and then he pulls the gun out to doink a few like dome ski? Like, what do you mean? Yeah, you draw your gun. What, what else is a cop supposed to draw? His fucking combat machete? <laughs> what? Um, 
If you're going to say that it was a life-threatening situation because the guy was reaching for the gun, then I'm not sure you're being honest. The cop held onto a moving vehicle, maintaining close proximity to the guy, and drew the gun within reaching distance. He could have not hung onto the vehicle and he's you're doing a traffic stop. You're like you're literally doing a traffic stop. What do you mean? Like, are you supposed to back up into the fucking freeway and then like pull your fucking gun out and like and of course you have got to be like relatively close close to the person when okay fuck we're not gonna talk about this much i just want to talk about one thing okay and i want you guys to do this i want you guys to do this when you watch these cop videos okay this is all i want you to keep in mind okay when you're dealing with a police officer or when you are a police officer if you're dealing with somebody there's like two huge things that you're looking for at a traffic stop okay number one is is anybody else in the fucking car that's a huge thing because you don't know if somebody's like in the back seat this is why cops will usually say like is there anyone else in the car roll your window down let me see like if they can't see into the back seat that's a huge like what the fuck number one is like um is there anyone else in the car? Number two is, can I see your hands? All right? The cop was being ridiculously aggressive at the end. When, if you watch any of these cop videos, the ones where cops get killed in two fucking seconds are where people are like this. Like, oh, officer. Like, oh, oh, oh. If your hands are like reaching around in the car, you're, it's like, this guy's looking for a gun to kill me. That's what a cop is going to think every fucking time. Maybe not rightfully so, but like you... like. That's, that's how every cop killing video starts, right? It's usually like a guy's like, oh no, I don't want to get a, boom, boom, boom. And it's like, it doesn't even make sense for me to say like, it happens in a matter of seconds. It doesn't happen in a matter of seconds. It doesn't make sense that it can happen in a second. It doesn't happen in a second. It's like 350 MS or less to like pull a gun and shoot. It's very, very, very fast, okay? It's not one second. It's not five seconds. It's less than half a second to just, to, to grab a gun that's already like, Condition zero, condition one, to grab it and shoot is like you're, you're done almost instantly. Um, like, yeah, when, when you start flailing your arms and shit around at a traffic stop and they're like digging around in your car, Jesus Christ. Ugh. I wonder what Reddit comments he's reading. Seems like most of the comments are pretty normal. I just have it sorted by best or whatever. Like, yeah, keep in mind, like your real life human reaction speed is going to be capped at like reasonably in a situation like 180 and lower MS is like pro first person shooter clicking on a mouse speed, all right? Like realistically, it's probably anywhere from like 200 to 300 MS with like perfect reaction. Like you see something, you process something and you take the correct action. If someone has a gun and really wants to kill you, there's not really much you can do. Yeah, it's like so quick. Don't you think the cop escalated for no reason? He could have just let the guy try to escape and pursue with backup instead of pulling out a gun. This is like, this is a hindsight 2020 that's really hard to say. Let's say that you do think that this is the type of person to drive off from a traffic stop. One, you probably, generally, cops don't want to get into car chases, okay? Cops are so averse to car chases that in some states, it's actually illegal to pursue um, over a given speed because there's so much danger that's like, um, like represented to the public by having this. So one, cops generally don't want to do like car chases. It's a huge shit show. It's a lot of money to run a helicopter. Um, it's a lot of danger to pedestrians. It's, there's a lot of like manpower. It's just, it's a shit show to do like car chases. Number one. Um, number two, you don't know, um, if this person is like, say this person is like on a felony or there's a little weapon in the car, you don't know if you're increasing the danger by letting them get away and establish something more, right? Like there's just like, if you already have somebody stopped and you reasonably have the situation under control, now the guy started driving off, obviously, like you generally don't want to just let that person go and like, oh, well, hey, you know, we'll clean it up in post, right? We'll like, yeah, we'll just like chase this guy. It's fine, you know? Um, that's what I thought. I was super surprised when he didn't instantly shoot. Like, I don't want to sound like an asshole, but like I almost say... I would almost think you could justify the cop shooting when the guy reached for his gun. Like, I think that if you reach for an officer's gun, I think you're showing lethal intent. I think right there. Like, I would say the same in a self-defense situation. If you have a firearm and the other person knows it and you go to take your gun out and somebody tries to, like, grab your gun, I think that you've, like, you've escalated to, like, somebody is going to die in this interaction. That would be, like, my assumption. If I was out somewhere and I have a gun on me and somebody's, like, reaching for it and I see that that's happening, like, somebody's going to die. Like, this, this interaction is... Because, like, how do you... Because you've already shown me that you're willing to, like, take it to the highest level. Like, yeah, I don't know. According to the news articles, the guy had two weapons in his car as well. Sure. Was holding onto the car the right to avoid a car chase. Um, I, I, I don't know. Um, why did the cop pull out a gun? I think because the guy started to drive off. I mean, holding onto the car is obviously dumb, but there was probably a little bit of reflex going on. Maybe he was stupidly thinking, like, maybe I could stop the guy from pulling off. Like, yeah, I don't know. You don't think it's a natural reaction to put your hand in front of a gun being pointed at you to protect yourself? You... 
even if it was, you've already instigated it. If a cop is standing at my window and I start to drive off and he pulls a gun out and I start reaching for the gun, you can call it a natural reaction if you want, but like, you no. Sorry. The problem here is that everyone is letting their position get tainted by the fact that the person in the car was guilty when they should be completely irrelevant when it comes to police misconduct. Also, it's weird to put so much responsibility on a citizen over the trained law enforcement officer. The only time the guy in the car escalates the situation is when the police officer makes up a bullshit weed smell so he can search the vehicle. You're a fucking but how do you know it's a bullshit weed smell? Well, was yeah. there weed in the car, actually? How does he, You don't know if it's a... Wait, how does he know that it's bullshit? Following the suspect taking away, the officer further escalates the situation by hanging onto the vehicle for no reason. <laughs> Bro! Do you see yesterday when I tried to run over Samantha and she escalated the situation by standing in front of my car? <laughs> what? The question is, can you or do you deserve to get shot for driving away from a traffic stop? I mean, it depends on the traffic stop, but I mean, like, you're, you're being detained, so, like, do, I mean, like, I can I ask questions like for anything. Do you deserve to get shot from running away from jail? Or what about running away when you're under arrest? For years and or what about running, like, memes. I mean, you're being... Keep up the good work. You're being detained also under threat of force. Like, what do, you, what do you think is gonna happen? Like... Or should you be like, if you can drive away, should you be allowed to just drive away? Like... Lawson Harrison, five dollars. You should just surrender your gun and thus make it less likely to be standing on a mountain of corpses. <laughs> True. 